Welcome to the channel everybody. My name is Ryan and this is RimWorld and we are currently tracking Emma because she is part of the toxic waster colony. Obviously that's where we're at right now, but she's also pregnant and she's in her third trimester. So I'm hoping this is going to be the episode here. Boy, let me tell you what, she's been doing tons of work, even though pregnant. She is, uh, she is a hard worker. We had a recent uh, attack of insects and as you can see they wiped out all of our band node generators so keeping it over here in this area wasn't the best idea i admit it i admit it freely so what we're also working on is expanding some of the bedrooms so i've decided to cut some of this area off to the possibility of getting hit by insects i think i'm going to do this one too this way our band node area isn't necessarily going to be susceptible to more further insect attacks it might be you know because they can always break through the walls and stuff but this way we'll be a little bit safer so we'll get that laid out but uh, everything else is going fantastic we did uh you know have a little bit of trouble with the infestation but we managed to clear it all out safely nobody died and in the process we were able to recruit three brand new people so it's been pretty amazing We've got, let's see here, Duncan, Dun Dunnix, sorry, his name is Dunnix, I almost called him Duncan Donuts, but uh, he's getting moved over here. We've got Big, this big gentleman right here, already helping us move stuff around. Good for you, Big. Oh, I definitely want to get these insects picked up. There we go. Yeah, and finally, but not least, we've got Lottie, who's right here. Good old Lottie. She's already looking pretty stylish with her helmet and her... Uh, what is that? A uh, synth thread parka you're wearing? Synth thread jacket. Not too shabby. But yeah, she's she's also picked herself up an Insanity Lance. So these folks have already become crucial members of the colony. And we literally just recruited them recently. But um, as you can see, I just set up three charge rifle orders here. I think I'm <clears throat> going to need to get some... Let's see. what. Oh, I'm at the wrong bench. Yeah, we're going to need some SMGs too. For the new people so gizmo is of course our production specialist and she's amazing at it in her beautiful lime green colors yeah we've let everybody choose whatever particular favorite color there's <clears throat> they have just to switch their whole outfit over and let's see yeah we'll do that with these with these newbies too it makes it a little bit easier uh for folks at home watching to figure out who's who at just a glance but uh yeah, as you can see, the stupid mechs are all just wandering around. There we go. Beautiful color there, Dunnix. I love it. All right, set the favorite color. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. I'm liking the look of that. So, well, I'll go through with each of them now, and we'll allow them. Oh, Dunnix is already going. We need to change this guy's name. So, let's look here. Iron Wild, Careful Shooter, Gourmand. That is actually a really good pawn, isn't it? I mean, Gourmand's not the best, but good good traits nonetheless. Let's go for, how about, that seems appropriate, right? Iron Willed, Gourmand, the Iron Chef, heck yeah. So we've got the Iron Chef, and he is our backup cook, I think, right? Don't I have Dunnix butchering? Well, let's put him as cooking. You know what I did is I, I set up, yeah, a second table here with the exact same stuff. What I think I'll do for Dunnix, in order to get him some more food or cooking ability, we'll set this, we'll double it almost to 14,000. And I'll set the limit to 7K. It's a lot of pemmican, but it's okay. And we do we just added three new people to the colony, so don't forget about that. Plus, we got a baby on the way, so we need food. Now, we'll set this one specifically to the Iron Chef. There we go. So, I'll make that the number one priority. Also, you know what? I think I'll just go in here and set all these to the Iron Chef. Yeah, I'll, I'll separate the two tables. That's probably the best way to keep everybody working. All right, that's what we'll work on. Okay, well, while Gizmo works hard at the charge rifles, we've got a bit of a decision to make over here. Then I notice we've got a synthetic liver, a wake-up implant, which is pretty interesting for the uh, toxic wasters. I'm wondering, you know, for, what is it, the, um, the waster xenotype, since... 
they are like constantly addicted will this negate that essentially does that mean that like they don't need to use outside drugs so i'm fascinated we actually pulled this out of a prisoner it was this prisoner right here yeah we took it out of immo Im immolator <laughs> um in fact how's he doing genes are still regrowing scanning sickness all right so we're keeping him around just for his genes and stuff but um let's get back to it so we've also got a synthetic heart let's start with that what i want to do is look at for the oldest colonist. So I'm going to start at the start here, Snuff, and I'm just going to use the hotkeys, the period and the comma, to go through each one. So 28, I'm going to speed through this real quick, 26, 46, there we go, radius 46. Oh, I think Sun might be the one at 54. Yep, Sun's the one. We got another oldie right here, and Donix is newer, but not quite 54. So Sun, guess what? You're getting yourself a synthetic heart. Because, of course, the older ones usually do have trouble with their hearts, eventually. But, um, I keep clicking the wrong thing. Let's, uh, since this is the heart and it's potentially fatal, let's go ahead and bump her up to the full Glitter Tech meds. Alright, we'll do the heart. And, I guess any of them are candidates for the liver. But, let's see. How's Gizmo? Let's give Gizmo the liver, since she is just basically such an important member of the colony. There we go. Okay, and I guess I decided we'll give the uh, wake-up rib to Raider. Why not, right? He's a, He's been a very crucial member the whole time. He's our number one researcher and scanner, so he deserves it. He definitely does. Okay, well, successfully installed that rib on our boy Raider here. Very good. I think Sun... Still needs the heart, so Emma's coming over here. In the meantime, I've gotten so desperate for steel that I've got Sienna over here strip mining this section. So, yeah, you can expect even more insect infestations, but um, so far she hasn't hit any steel yet, but I'm just going to... I've got her forced right now to work. So she currently believes that she has to mine all of this, but at some point I'll give her a break. Or maybe I'll just inject her with go juice and force her to keep working because we desperately need steel. So we've got like 10 different projects counting on it. And a lot of those are going to be extremely important. Oh, great. Compact machinery. Just what we don't need. But, um, you know, another thing, let me pause it real quick because I just realized we do have an ally. Okay, so let me see. Um, let's get snuff. What are you working on? Meditation? Okay, we've got... They're, they're getting low in terms of their faction influence, so we might have to send a little drop pod full of some cowboy hats to them. But um, the pigs will definitely come with a bulk goods trader if I ask them to. So that will hopefully have a little bit of steel on it. We'll see. Yes, and there it is. We found us some steel. Good job, Sienna. I knew you would do it eventually. All right, let's force her to hold for a second. I'm gonna have to do this manually because if I sometimes the the little equals key which uh, installs with a certain mod doesn't always work if you've got it already touching a section that's already been ordered to uh, mine. It'll like remove it all. So I don't want to do that. But uh, I don't know if you guys see what I'm saying. But if I do this, it might work. Let's cancel like this section. Now if I just hit the equal key, boom. Oh wow. That's a lot. Good, good, good. See, if I had done that while some of this mining order was still touching the vein, I think, like exposed out here, it would have canceled everything because it's either on or off. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, so enough of that. Let's just focus on this right here. Oh, yeah. Speed things up. Look at them. Immediately, people are coming to grab it because, like, there have been literally people waiting for days and days for more steel. And, unfortunately, Sienna might think she's done after this, but she's not. In fact, I think I will hit her with some go-juice, so... Speaking of that, let's... I'll, we'll do the go-juice and the mining command after this. Let's see just how fast we can get her. Of course, she has one drill arm, but that's it. Um, somebody did suggest I give her two, and one day we might. Alright, do your mining command. Let's see, you better have some go-juice. Yes, she does. Alright, good, good, good. Now, let's prioritize this. Where are you going? Okay. I think she's starting to feel the effects of that constant go juice use or something. She's acting a little bit weird, but that's okay. 
Okay, well, with all that steel we just dug up, it might seem like we don't need the trade anymore, but we do. Trust me, the, that steel won't last forever, so I've got some clothing, basically, in this. So we're going to send it over here to the, yeah, to the ball walk pog here for plus 30. That's not too bad. That's a decent amount of influence. Should get us back up to a point where I don't have to worry about it degrading from ally to just friend again or whatever, or neutral. Well, I think it's about time to load up several more of these garden areas here. Um, one good thing since, since going in here and trying to place this and then go for boom. Like it's kind of awkward to place this soil in a irregular room shape like this. So I highly recommend this mod here, the shapes mod for that. So we'll select whatever we want to do. Then you have the little paint, uh, the paint bucket and you can just boom, literally fill in anywhere that's not cut off by a door. Why is it not cut off by a door? There we go. So that will do it uh, in a real quick and easy fashion. Now the, the one thing you gotta remember is that uh, if you set this to the paint brush thing, it's gonna stay there. So you need to go back in and reset it to the original shape. Otherwise it won't work right and you might end up setting your whole map to be filled with dirt. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I have tested it before, and if you accidentally use like the paintbrush thing in an area that's extremely large, for instance, it does have a limit. Like It won't do the whole map. It does, it does a large area, trust me, but it won't do the whole thing. But still, the Shapes mod, which is what that is, I highly recommend that one for sure. I mean, honestly, I recommend... There's about 200 mods I think I recommend total, but this is a, this is a really helpful one. Oh, crap. Well, I've been over here actively busting my butt trying to force these guys to do this, but it was too late. Two of our Militors have gone hostile, and we can't even see them anymore because, yeah, because of the fog of war. Well, I'm going to bring... We'll bring everybody. Bring them all. Get them down here. You don't mess around with hostile Militors. Now, where's the other one? Is this one hostile? No, that one's just wandering. But we're getting close. They can all turn hostile at some point. This is getting disastrous. Of course, we can fix... Oh, my God, skunk. Fall back, skunk. Fall back. Fall back. No immediate danger. Okay. Oh, yeah. ooh, ooh, ooh. Iron Chef. Come on. Hope I don't get trademark struck for that. Okay, we saved it. Saved the day there. But this is priority number one. As you can see, I am forcing... Oh, God, I thought that was another one. <laughs> Somebody's in a daze. I am forcing them. So even uh, nine-month pregnant Emma, I'm forcing her to get over here and work on these, Emma. These are your mechs that are going crazy. Not like it's not my fault, but, uh, you know, you know how it goes. I always blame my pawns. Okay, well, checking out. We have got all our charge rifles. We got four of them now. This is the least quality, too. We've got three masterworks built and one excellent. So, Snuff, who is... Oh, well, good straighter showed up. Snuff, who is a 20 at shooting, has got one. Hiroshi, who is a 20. Also, we've got Emma at level 20. And Raider, so our four best shooters all have charge rifles and we're going to keep that trend going as people get up to like 16 17 18 we'll switch them out with better and better charge rifles so he's got the assault rifle but it drops off pretty drastically so we got 15 11 13 14 then we go to a three oh, we got a few good shooters actually believe it or not of course this guy's our melee but um yeah so that's important those charge rifles especially if we can start turning out some legendary qualities i was really hoping she might but so far not so good um she herself is at 20 crafting but we'll see we're just waiting now she's working on some F smgs to kind of just to upgrade some of these that people are carrying around some of them are kind of crappy that one's okay but some of them are, I think, just normal quality here and there. But, um, yeah, there's a good one. So, that's going well. And I've ordered the Militors to be replaced, too. Because uh, I think we lost when they get destroyed like that. I don't know if we can do anything with their corpses, to be honest. They might have already been shredded. <laughs> Wait a second. Yeah, I think she shredded them already. So, even if we could have, I might have missed the opportunity. But no worries, no worries. We'll just make some more. Might be a bit of a waste, but um, we're still over here setting these up. Luckily, she has now gotten to a point where she's got enough bandwidth to cover the current crop of mechanoids. So there's no more emergency. 
Oh, isn't it beautiful to see all the toxic waste in the air settling right on the pigs and their livestock? Here we go. So what are we going to buy from these fools? Let them get out of here before they all get diseased. Toxic waste poisoning. Ooh, we'll sell them that. Now please, for the love of God, tell me you brought some steel with you. Yes, 300. Look at that. You see that? We're already out of steel. <laughs> uh, so, um, what else? Now I got tons of stuff to sell them, but they don't have a lot to give me. Let's go back to their animals. Did they have any? Yeah, I'm going to buy the yaks and the bulls. Like I said, we need these just for meat and stuff. And uh, can't wait to get another actual human raid. That'll be fantastic. But uh, all right, I'm going to go through this and probably set up, sell them a bunch of junk we don't need. And uh, I'll show you guys in the end what I come away with. All right, there we go. Well, I'm getting rid of a bunch of our junky stuff, clothing and the extra textiles we don't need. We've got an extra heart and a liver sitting around. Um, we're taking their animals, steel, and components along with the neutronamine, and that's it. So they're good to go. Let's look at them real quick. I want to see if any of them are getting sick. Yeah. Yep, toxic buildup initial. And that's not going to change anytime soon, let me tell you what. So we, in case you guys have missed it previously, we've got this, right? No, this one right here, the Toxic Spewer. It's a mech cluster. We got it a few episodes back, but I really have no intention of going to destroy it at this point. It has no effect but positives for our people. And, I mean, there is some downside. I shouldn't say that because there are no trees on the map or animals anymore. So that does kind of hurt a little bit, but we're going to be able to get around it. As you see, I'm just buying my own livestock. And we're currently starting to really drastically expand our greenhouses down here. In fact, to that end, let's go ahead and set another layer of columns. And what I can do down here, you can't place trees underground, but I can do bamboo. So, and basically anything I can make with out of wood, I can use bamboo for too. So it's just a little bit less beautiful. I think it has less beauty. I'm not sure about that, but I might have to check it. Although, like I said, it's a good substitute. So that's what we're going for. Oh, well, 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 Emma and Snuff have gotten, decided to make a lifelong commitment to each other. So not quite married yet, but uh, if you guys are original watchers of the series, you'll know that they started this whole tra uh, travesty married to each other but they split after having a couple of kids then we cast some spells on them with hiroshi's word of love and now they just they're just the best best of friends not skunk don't pay attention emma and snuff where you at snuff what are you doing always oh, out here meditating so that's good news and of course she oh look oh, it's happening folks her little red symbol up here indicating she's pregnant is flashing. That means it's going to happen any moment. She's probably just going to collapse. She'll have to be uh, taken to the hospital, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm going to watch her very closely. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Well, we got ourselves another waste pack infestation. And I hope this is not inside the walls of the colony. We're about to find out. This could be devastating. Oh, Thank God. Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah, you can see how many insects are about to land. In fact, let's go ahead and proceed here. Uh, we Actually, first things first. Everybody is now restricted to the safe zone, and that includes the mechs. Nobody can go out there. This is a death trap. This is also another great reason why I've got my... Uh, toxic waste packs outside here now obviously we do have a lot of pollution going on inside the colony and in fact we do have toxic waste packs that are bursting here but i mean still luckily there's more of them out here i guess so this is just a bigger space too jesus how many are there all right let's turn this off speed things up now, the interesting thing about this one oh there's a corpse out here interesting thing about this is that uh yeah these things start dormant yep you can see the cocoons they all hold the mega spiders so there's literally going to be like 31 mega spiders and speed lobe 32 of those um i also want to say that i think there might also be like hives but i don't see them could be wrong about that but let's uh in fact Let's read what it says about the waste pack infestation. Because this is, I believe, a, a mod. It might be. It might not be. I can't remember. Is this vanilla? 
Is the waste pack infestation vanilla? Let me know down in the comments because I can't remember now. But um, let's see. A group of burrowed insect stasis cocoons have picked up the scent of recently dissolved. They're tunneling. The cocoons will emerge in a dormant state. They will remain dormant indefinitely. If someone approaches or disturbs them, they will open and release enraged insects. Okay. Interesting. So at least we have that basic amount of inf info. And, it, you know, the last time this happened, we just waited until a traitor or whoever, another raid came along and, and ruptured them. I think that's probably what we're going to end up doing this time, too, because we can hold out. We, we don't need to go outside the area of the compound at all. We've made ourselves perfectly self-sufficient here inside the mountain homes. So, yeah, we're good. Well, hopefully it's not one of our allies that uh, comes by, but uh, we don't have any current traders or caravans ordered, so I, I certainly I won't risk it right now. Oh my god, I don't know what it is, but Emma is taking forever to have this child. Literally, Clope just became an adult in the time it's taken Emma, so yeah, let's, let's address this here. Old Clope, let's see here. So we've got three to choose from. Now, Clope is also, I think, similar in age to one of the others, but anyway, we'll address that later when it comes up. So, Clope is a shooter. I noticed that he's got the brawler trait possible, but we're not going to do that. Um, God, I guess we're going kind. So quick sleeper, psychically hypersensitive, and kind. Those are good. Those are good. Uh, let's see. Now we've got three. Let's do a double in plants. A double in cooking. Um, we'll do definitely one in animals because we need as many animal trainer and people as we can get, even though he sucks at it. And he's at negative eight, meaning he'll have to work himself just to get to a level one. He'll have to go through eight levels or whatever to get there maybe nine i don't know my math's wrong bad but um that's how that works so it's good to have a passion there um all right we'll go with that i think okay let's do it nice good old clopey clope also do you have a backup weapon yes he does so important to check his schedule or his work now make sure see if he can oh we don't want him surgering uh warden yeah you're good oh definitely handling Yep, we've got him cooking now. Set up to cook. I don't have any tasks for him. I might have to set up like an oven, get him to do some uh, baking or something, just to get him a little bit better at stuff. All right, everything else looks good. I'm definitely gonna set him up to do some research and stuff. It's actually not such a bad idea not to just kind of leave him off the cooking duties for now, because we definitely need some research done, so. We're working on that. I've, in fact, I've switched Raider over from scanning to research now. Oh, there it is, folks. Oh, thank goodness. Look at her. She's going. To, she's in labor and she's going to use a telescope. Oh, Emma, Emma, Emma. Let's rest until healed, please. All right. And no, Big is not sick, unfortunately. He's got no bedroom, so he's sleeping in here in the hospital. He's going to have a restless night tonight, I think. Let's see. All right. We'll gather for the birth. Now, Snuff is the father, so I'm going to put him there. Who's the next best doctor? Uh, not you. Oh, yeah, yeah, it would be, uh, no, not Emma. She's the one in the hospital bed. There we go. Okay, it's going to be Skunk. So let me get that all set up again. Okay, here we go. Well, it's funny, too, because apparently just having the husband here is not enough because she doesn't quite love snuff so that would that would leave that blank so i had to bring her brother in here to be present too so that counts hiroshi's a loved one so there we go let's do it it's kind of funny hey listen they were magically forced into love together so that's just how it goes maybe once they get married again they'll they'll be happily in love anyway guys there we go so we we ended with a birth, just like I had hoped. It will take a few moments for the baby to be born, and of course, not much going on with it for the first couple of years of its life, but we are definitely going to be sticking it in the growth vat, so you can count on that. And I hope everybody's enjoyed this one. Hit that like and subscribe button if you guys are enjoying the Waster playthrough. Uh, leave me some comments below. I love all you guys commenting. It really makes my day. And I will see you on the next episode.